Hello, welcome. I'm Udaya Pratap Singh. You're joining us on NewsX. And uh, our special guest today is filmmaker Ruchi Narayan. Of course, is all set to uh, excite you, intrigue you with the, with the Karma Calling. It's releasing, of course, later this January on Disney Plus Hotstar. And the trailer has already set the internet abuzz. Uh, so, Ruchi, welcome. Firstly, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Uday. I'm so happy to be with you on NewsX and talk to your audience. Yes, uh, as I said, you know, you've already set the internet abuzz uh, with your trailer. Uh, so first, just tell us, you know, about the response so far and, and the kind of feedback you are getting already. Um, I'm I'm very excited. I'm literally sitting here like this. <laughs> I'm like, it's, uh, you know, it's honestly, it's, it's not even been 24 hours, but... Uh, <laughs> We've got a lot of love, and uh, it's it's quite overwhelming. Yes, um, let's just now recap the journey a bit of of how this came your way. So I was reading somewhere it took ten years to make Karma Calling. Is that correct? What what took so long, and how did the project initiate for you? So actually, uh, it it didn't come my way. I like ran straight for it. <laughs> Yes. Um, okay. I, I had seen uh, the a show uh, made by ABC Studios uh, about 12 years ago called mm -hmm. Revenge. Mm -hmm. um, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, this is what we need to we, we need to give this to the Indian audience, you know, yeah. um, because I just felt it had everything. There was so much story in it, such a great taste. And uh, I, while I was watching it, I could just see how we could adapt it into an Indian context mm -hmm. and uh, make it like even more exciting, you know? Yes. Um, so I went and I pitched at that time, there was no OTTs. Okay? okay. So I went and they had 24 had just come out. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I pitched it to Star okay. uh, because, you know, they all, all television wanted to now do things like 24, yeah, um, which was an official adaptation, mm -hmm. you know, and it had a, a, a different kind of format and a different kind of uh, viewing quality sure. from the regular television fair. You know, it was more, it's a more cinematic approach. Yes. Um, so I was like, this is this is what what should be happening. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you know, we, we, I wanted to do an official adaptation mm -hmm. of it. And uh, Star was in talks to get mm -hmm. the rights. And the rights didn't come through. Okay. But, you know, literally 10 years later or eight years later, uh, what happened is the rights holders mm -hmm. Disney. Mm -hmm. And Disney and Fox merged, yeah. so the yes. right became internal. So okay. literally, the, it was nothing I could have ever even dreamt of happening. Yeah. So I could make my show. <laughs> yeah, it was it was your karma, <laughs> which yeah, which which made this so happen. We used to discuss the title a lot, and I was like, uh, I think the title should be. Karma. It has to have karma in it because yeah. uh, a. I also felt that in you know in our context, the ultimate revenge is mm -hmm. karma. Mm -hmm. True, true. Or khas karke India mein bahut kaha jata hai ye. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's let's also then uh, talk about how the casting of Ravina Tandon happened. Obviously, she's the protagonist. Uh, she's a you know, very intrinsic character, of course, as we're seeing in the trailer. How did her casting happen? Who thought of her first? And, and what was her reaction when she got the script? I had approached her 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. And at that time, uh, you know, it we needed a lot of days of hers. And anyways, yeah. she couldn't give those days. And then anyways, the show didn't happen. Mm. Um, uh, but, you know, we became friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now when the show was happening and mm -hmm. actually, personally, I feel she's looking even better yeah. than she was. And now she has, you know, her kids are also grown up, yeah. you know, rush everything. Yeah. So, uh, 
she has a uh, she's she's now like ready ready yeah. to remember <laughs> yes no doubt so, uh, you know it just worked out so i just said guess what mm-hmm. we can do revenge and okay. she's like i'm on yeah uh, okay so, and, and that's how that's how it happened finally okay uh you know how how was the experience for you on sets uh, you know directing something like this obviously ensemble cast there's a lot of mystery a lot of intrigues it's obviously uh, shot very beautifully as well um how was how was it on sets and you know uh, is is it pretty exhausting when you're when you're working on a series which is obviously you know much longer than just a finite film uh, and also has so many characters and their complexities as well which you need to flesh out and i guess all of them turned to you i was reading some of the comments at the trailer launch and varun is like ruchi was my guide and of course ravina was like you know i turned to ruchi narayan every time So how was it? How was that experience? So, I mean, you? that is my job. It, it, whoever would be the director, they would turn to them. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, it honestly, the shoot was mm-hmm. not exhausting. It was exhilarating because mm-hmm. we really had a good time. Okay. Uh, the scenes. It was so much fun to shoot the scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I frankly love my entire cast. We yeah. had a great time. they all got along really well with each other we had a lot we have a lot of young people in the yeah. show yeah so they brought an amazing energy and camaraderie to it and ravina also is not a standoffish person she's a she's a fun she's a fun gal mm-hmm. so uh, you know so it it was you know we everyone would be sitting together only like the first day you would be like you're making too much noise all the <laughs> actors move and even yeah. ashu you know my partners ashu and tahir itna tam tham un log ne taiyar kiya hota hai yeah. the actors they like please go here go there sit in this <laughs> but everyone want to hang <laughs> yeah so it was a lot of fun what okay. is exhausting i will tell you is uh, in a series you know because you're not shooting in sequence mm-hmm. so the whole post part always becomes daunting okay um, so you know the the amount of time because it's like you make you make uh, a film like yeah. I, now i joke that i think i need to make a film because i want a holiday <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. you know a film is you're making okay say two to add a yeah. stretch for as of content yeah. but now in a show it's like you're making three and a half films True. in that time it's it's really True. a lot you know? and in that in those same schedule yeah the yeah, it's it's a lot okay. so uh, that part i mean per- personally also i was going through a little bit of a hard time because yeah. you know when i started the show my mother had just passed and then my father was sick Mm-hmm. in the whole thing and uh, he just passed away a few months ago so mm-hmm. it was a, a very challenging uh, right. time for me personally yeah. but i had a lot of support from my my partners ashu and tahir and uh, of course disney hotstar was very very supportive i mean okay. you know there was a lot of hos- i was in the hospital with my yeah. dad a lot of times and uh, they were really really understanding i have to say yeah. great and of course disney all stars allowed this kind of content to now come as you were saying which you wanted to india finally and and let our viewers see it as well uh, final question you know uh i have to ask you this because you know when 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 one looks at your filmography uh very varied content of course but you know one thing that that stands uh you know constant is the strong female protagonists in your projects you know be it of course this one with ravina tandon be it in 100 where you had lara and rinku we had in uh, guilty with kiara and also of course earlier we all remember azaro pashe which you had written uh, which had chitrangada a very very strong role now is that something conscious coincidental you know the fact that you've had these strong female protagonists and you know actors who obviously really stood out and and and, and the project has spoken a lot for them um personally i think if because i'm a woman mm. like I- i'll always see myself not as a woman as a person mm-hmm. and therefore whenever i do a woman character 
they'll be more like people as mm-hmm. opposed to a woman okay and i feel a lot of the older content uh you know the women was like like you know say the content of the 90s for example what was the heroine's role it was that she was the love interest of the hero the True. hero had a character but her role was that she was the love interest yes yeah. so it was that so yeah. now the minute the love interest becomes a person mm-hmm. of course they'll have many layers mm-hmm. there'll be strength there'll be weakness there'll be a lot of things mm-hmm. um so i just feel it's it's also perspective uh, okay. you know because we don't approach women characters as women we approach them like mm. upper people you know like when we write men yeah you also can see that they are real you know also yeah. they are more used to seeing that with male mm-hmm. characters mm-hmm. um so yeah it, it's i think it's 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 that it's about approach else yeah it's about approach okay well that's also a sign of the changing times of the industry uh, that that we live in yeah the the, the change is that yeah. now we get to make these stories yeah. Sure. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, I guess then the audience also needs to support such content uh, so that we see more of such stories uh, coming out. But thank you so much for the time, Mr. Chinnarayan, for joining us and uh, wishing all the very best to Karma Calling, as I said, which is streaming very, very soon on Disney Plus Hotstar. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.